Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Another day, another daily devotion. Uh, thanks to all of you who are tuning in this morning. To Dave and John, Melissa, Carmel, Frank, Dinah. Thank you for being here, Dave. Safe travels as you head to Shahalis. Uh, Karen, good morning. Laura, thanks for, for being here. Hildy, Dorothy, Judy, Nancy, everyone. Thank you so much for joining once again uh, in a daily devotion, a time for sharing and and the story of God's grace and mercy that's poured out into this world um, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So uh, today, uh, the focus of this devotion is going to be from the book of Acts. So if you want to grab your Bible and get yourself ready uh, for that, we're going to read. I'm going to share with you a story, um, Acts 2, verses 1 through 8. Uh, it's the story about Pentecost, as 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 account, as we hear recounted in uh, in the book of Acts. So Acts 2, 1 through 8 is going to be the focus of our of our devotion this morning. Um, but before we get to that, let's let us join together uh, and share in a word of prayer with one another. Holy and gracious God, in the life, death, and resurrection of, of Jesus Christ, you speak a story of your your love and your mercy that you pour out for this world. May we hear that 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 word of grace this morning, may it inspire us and empower us and move us uh, to be your compassionate hands in this world. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So a quick question um, this morning, and then uh, if you want to, to answer it, you can sure answer in the comments. Uh, but I'm, I'm curious, how many languages can you speak? And, and, I, and I mean, you know, speak fluently, right? How many can you speak? You know, I always, I always wish that I knew how to speak at least one other language, maybe two. That'd be great. I mean, I I, I took German in high school, um, and I still remember how to say a few things like you know what my name is or, or you know what I like to do in my free time. You know, but if I were to hear you know, someone speaking it. I likely wouldn't be able to understand, you know, 95, probably more like 99% of what is is being said, which is really, you know, the heart of language, isn't it? Well, language is about uh, communicating thoughts, um, feelings, ideas, you know, sharing them with, with one another so that people can understand each other. Well, because understanding one another... You know that's that's essential. That's that's essential to 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 what it takes to build a community, yeah. which is which is ha what's happening in this devotional uh, text this morning. This reading that we're going to to share with uh, in today. So I'm going to grab my Bible. You can grab yours if you want. Um, like I said, we're going to be in the Book of Acts, the second chapter. Um, and I'm going to read verses 1 through 8. Good morning, Danielle. Thank you for showing. Oh, I miss, I miss that too, Hildy. So the, the reading is going to be Acts 2, 1 through 8. I'm going to just share that reading with you right now. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly, from heaven, there came a sound like a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each of them heard them speaking in their native language. Amazed and astonished, they asked, are not all of these who are speaking Galileans? How is it that we hear each of us in our own language? You know, um, what we hear in this, this reading is something really, really amazing. Um, we hear that everyone, you know, understands what's being said and they understand and, you know, in their own languages. And it's that, that amazing piece that they understand what is being said. That's what enables you know, the early church to, to form. That's what enables that community to, to be built. Which, you know, it got me wondering, then, you know, when it comes to God, what is, 
What's the language that God speaks? You know, how does God communicate in a way you know, that all the world can understand? Well, the answer is love. Right? Love is the language that God speaks, that God speaks in and, and through Jesus. And when you think about it, love truly is, is a universal language, right? It's something that all people can understand. You know, and when we, you know, when we show care and concern for others, or when that is shown to us, when people show kindness to us, or, or we show that to others, you know, that's understood. It's understandable. We all understand, and we speak this, this universal language. I mean, think uh, for a moment for yourself, uh, in, in your own life. Um, you know, who, who spoke that language to you? Was it family? Is it, you know, friends? You know, perhaps it's someone you didn't even know. Maybe a stranger spoke that to you. But I'm sure we can all come up with a list of who has spoken that universal language of, of God's love to us. Which is really, you know, love. That's the, the most important word in God's vocabulary. And what God reveals in and through Jesus to us is that it should be the most important word in our vocabulary as well. And so I encourage you to, to find a way today to speak God's universal language of love. And what you do and what you say, how can you communicate that to those around you? Well, thank you all for for being here. Thank you for joining in one more time uh, and sharing in our, our daily devotion together. I hope all of you uh, have a wonderful day. And I want to close our time together with uh, a word of prayer. Holy and, and gracious God, we give you thanks for this day, for the gift of your love that you share with us, that you show to us in Jesus. Lord, we ask that, that that gift that you share with us would, would inspire us, empower us, embolden us to be your hands of compassion, to be your, your voice of forgiveness and mercy. And we would share and we would show this love to one another and to all. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you all uh, for being here, and I hope that today you have that opportunity to, to speak God's word of love uh, to one another and to all. And I, and I hope that you know that God's love is with you, God's love surrounds you here, now, and always. Well, God's peace and God's blessings be with all of you today, um, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.